it's Haley, and today I'm going to show you guys how I fixed Dior's happy tail using a pool noodle. initial idea of trying to figure out how to heal his happy tail and if you don't know what happy tail is it's really common in especially large breeds or breeds with really long tails and they just whack it on literally everything and so typically when they're born they get their tails cropped I know that this is a very controversial topic throughout the community because some people say it's unnecessary and dogs don't need it or that it's cruel or whatever the case may be but this it protects them from getting happy tail in the first place like I said they just whack their tail on everything where they get the name from and they can get like cuts and sores on the ends of their tail. Most dogs, when they do have a cut or a sore, they typically like to chew and lick at it, and so it kind of just makes it worse. And especially if it's at the very end, there's very little skin around the actual bones of the tail. And then if the cuts get infected, it can go into the bone, spread throughout their body, and they can actually pass away from this. It would be called sepsis, which is an infection in your blood. So if you guys have been following along with my journey on TikTok, this was the initial video that I posted. I'll show it right here. But you will know that. I went to TikTok for some ideas and just like my boyfriend had said, the ultimate consensus on how to cure happy tail was to use a pool noodle. So it was really hard for me to kind of wrap my head around this idea because his tail is really wide in diameter. So if you look at the end of a pool noodle, it's really, really small. Like my finger can barely fit all the way through. So I didn't know how that was gonna work because I would not be able to push his tail through there. I was like, that's definitely not gonna work. I figured out the best way to get the pool noodle to stay on the tail. It doesn't bother him at all whatsoever. I have three different pool noodles here and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I got these from the dollar store. So three bucks to fix your dog's happy tail. I think it's definitely worth a shot. Obviously, if your dog keeps getting their tail injured or if it is threatening their overall health, I definitely would recommend getting it dog, which is means amputating either partial or the full tail. I know that sounds kind of cruel, but you know, to keep your pup happy and healthy for the longevity of their life, I think it would be worth it, huh, buddy? All right, let's get into it. Okay, so very first, what you're going to want to do is measure the length of your dog's tail. And what I have found is that when this pool noodle is on the dog's tail, the friction is enough to keep it on itself. So you don't have to use any extra tape or bandages or no strings, no ties, nothing. It stays on very, very well. And when I first tried this out, I cut the pool noodle just in half this way, but I think I'm just going to cut it in thirds because it doesn't need to cover his entire tail. When I cut it the first time, I used a knife, but this time I'm just going to stick with my exacto knife because I found that that works the best for this. Okay, obviously this is not an exact science just cut it it's fine and if you screw up I mean it's a dollar so you want to have a couple of backups just in case now that you have your pool noodle cut into thirds this is what you're going to do next I'm going to keep using this exacto knife I found that this works the best because it's about the same length as one side of the pool noodle so you can't cut all the way through and sever the entire pool noodle so that's what I found works the best honestly scissors too is gonna be fine so you're gonna start at the top up here just make one split and then you're just going to follow this in a spiral just like this it's kind of hard to tell but all the way down just cut it in a spiral like at an angle it'll probably make more sense when I'm finished now that you have this cut in a spiral you can kind of start ripping it apart gently As you can see, it forms a bit of a corkscrew. But let me show you how to put it on your dog's tail. The calmer your dog is, the better this is going to work. Dior is very chill and he'll pretty much let me do whatever I want to him. But just try to get your dog in a calm environment, have him lay down, and I'll show you how to wrap this on their tail. Okay, so very first, just measure where you want the end of the pool noodle to stop. So I want it to be a little bit longer than the end of his tail. I want the end of his tail down here to be protected. So just gently separate the pool noodle and start wrapping his tail around. So as you see, I'm trying to keep his tail pretty steady while I gently unroll and wrap the pool noodle around his tail, just like that. 
and now you can see the entirety of his tail the end of his tail is all wrapped up um, and it's protected by the end of this pool noodle. Unless your dog is biting or chewing at it, I would say you're pretty much good to go. He doesn't really mind it at all. This design, because it is a corkscrew, it lets a lot of air flow through. It lets him move his tail as he would like. It doesn't restrict him in any way at all. And if he does whack it on something, it's typically my head that he's whacking. So when the pool noodle hits my head really hard, it honestly doesn't hurt at all. So even if his happy tail does heal, I might just adopt this method anyways because because it will keep him from further injury and it will keep me from getting bruised and injured as well. So that is the end of my pool noodle video. If you're interested in more content of Dior, you guys can catch me on my Instagram stories. I'm active every single day. TikTok, he's become very, very popular. If you guys would like to follow us over there, the beginning of our journey, how I give him his pills, just different things like that. I have little tutorials on, but if you guys are just here on YouTube to hang out, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for following me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.